Sorry for the bumpy start. If everyone can go ahead and If anyone wants to introduce themselves this week. Jump into open floor unless there's anything missing from agenda notes that we can jot down real quick to dive into. It's going twice. So if we want to jump into open floor. Uh, first Cooper Summit is coming up. Um, are we in agreement to cancel the usual community sync? I'm not here, you, Catherine. It's just noise. No, not at all. Okay, hang on. I'll have to switch mics. Sorry. No, we, we hear you. I don't know. Oh. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sometimes it changes. It's not a perfect, but we do hear you. Okay. Um, well, I, I, will, I will try to solve for that. So it's better next week. Or the week after. Um, given that, uh, does anyone want to go ahead and concur with canceling community sync? Sounds like we're just going to do that. Yep, makes sense. All right, I will include that in, as a note and email out to the group. Let's see. Um, pull requests that need attention. Oop. Okay. I, I would like to ask something. Uh, Go ahead, if it's Andre. possible. Um, can we add it to? Yeah, I'm trying to, to edit just one second. Uh, 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 how to remove the bullet? Yeah, thank you. Uh, we are testing this solution that uh, are coming from uh, someone from Google to be able to slice the GPU uh, like that has 16 gigabytes uh, of, of GPU and we slice uh, one gig per VM for, you know, we are testing this already. If we are successfully, we're gonna put something here. Uh, we keep you informed about, but if anyone uh, already uh, tried that, uh, I would like you to know about the experience, okay? Um, so I'm not sure if Vladek's on, but are you talking about slicing? So you're on Google Compute and... Uh, no, we, uh, we have an NVIDIA T4 
uh, with 16 gigs and we have 16 VMs with one gig each. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with their platform and how they present those devices to you. We do have the ability to slice VGP or GPUs into VGPUs now, I believe, and that's something that the Vladek has worked on. Um, I, I'll try to find the, the feature um, and link it. Uh, the solution we find so far uh, uh, that is working, but is very expensive, is a proprietary solution from NVIDIA. Uh, this is the one that is working perfectly, but... Uh, let me put on the. Uh, This one you are referencing to the NVIDIA Convert GPU plugin. So let me post PR of what Vladek did recently. Um, are you talking about, and I, I'm not super familiar with GPU slicing and, uh, and all the mechanics that work behind this. At times I, I, I knew it, but then it just kind of fades from my memory. We have the ability to slice uh, media devices. Um, and I just linked a PR that Flagged worked on um, that is supposed to, is that slicing or is that just exposing media devices? No, this is only exposing. This is like mm. pass through direct the entire yes. GPU to the VM, not <laughs> the yep. what we plan to achieve <laughs> i see yep i got it wrong um hmm. i don't remember the latest on this does anyone else have any uh context on this it's kind of escaped me this conversation i, I know this is something we've talked about in the past Yeah, Vladek would be the one. Um, have you brought this up on the mailing list yet? Exactly what you're trying to do? If so, I can. Uh, Before we put on the mailing list, uh, I was uh, here and this this came on our morning uh, meetings. I, I suppose you to give that on the mailing list uh, later today. If you already made a mailing list post and you didn't get any feedback, um, just ping that again. Um, and we'll try to. Now? Oh, Vladek's here. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we can okay. hear you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm fumbling around, Vladek. Oh, yeah. Um, sorry about it. Um, the, um, I can link the other PR. But what we essentially can do is uh, we can create uh, mediated devices from hardware that support mediated devices. So NVIDIA um, GPU with the right drivers they support uh, immediate devices. Um, yes, but need to have a license server uh, to yeah, make okay. it. Happen. And the solution we are testing works without this licensing server for you and all, okay? So this solution, is it a, a virtual GPU that is based on CPU or? Uh, it's a kind of, of tricky that uh, the VMs are able to talk uh, to the, the, let's say, the host and uh, use as much as uh, the, the, the uh, as much as mom memory they, 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 uh, there are, there are available. For instance, I spare one gig for a specific user, but if the others uses are, are not using GPU, they are able to add more memory from, from the host from the same uh, GPU for you understand. 
This is a work I, we have not done. Uh, it's from Diplomatic. And that's why we are testing it because it was very successfully done uh, on top of uh, Google Cloud platform we are using for you know, okay? Yeah, I'm not familiar with this. So I mean, naturally we don't, um, at the moment we don't support anything like this, but. Yeah, we are gonna work it and we yeah. if it works, we are gonna uh, try to, to make a support to convert for you know. Okay. Okay. We will continue to carry that discussion over mailing list. Great. All right. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, API graduation. I don't know. Roman oh, that's me. Sorry. Okay. I <laughs> didn't put my name on it. Um, I can't remember if we discussed this last week or not. But we have a uh, proposal that I've made um, upstream. Well, I guess everything in here is upstream. Let me uh, get the link if I didn't already post it in there. I did post it in there. So we have a discussion going on about API graduation, uh, what it means for the Qbert organization. I've tried to lay out some kind of just rough guidelines. I want to finalize that soon. So if you feel like this discussion impacts you, uh, go over there. Uh, take a look at what's being discussed and provide your feedback uh, so we can get this kind of policy uh, merged so people um, at least have some understanding of what alpha and beta and GA mean within our organization. Uh, are there any questions about that? We, we could have a discussion here if anyone had any questions or we can go uh, just continue that on the comments within the pull request. like discussion is happening on the pull request. So that's exciting. Thanks, David. Alrighty, thanks. All right, and then importing Kubert client go. Hi everyone, can you hear me? Oh, you're really, really quiet. And now is it better? Well, we'll just have to be sure and listen really well. You're still quiet. Okay, so all had to drop, so I'll uh, take over. Yesterday, we've tried to use the Kubert uh, client go package, and we had problems importing it to our brand new go project. Uh, since then, it was uh, repaired, but uh, we, we've tried to use about 12, 12 versions uh, backwards and we had the same problem. So I think we should uh, maybe backport this uh, solution or something. And uh, we've also uh, asked in the Slack channel um, about uh, support and how to how to use this package or if there is uh, any Work on that we can do, and Roman had uh, provided us with another solution using the API package, which we haven't uh, been able to use, and uh, we think that it is uh, quite complicated to use. If uh, some someone could please elaborate on how to use it or why to use one package over the other, it would be great. Let's um, let's break it down a little bit. So, what, what was your first problem, uh, and, and what repo exactly were you trying to import? Because we changed how our client is exported uh, today. And I just want to make sure we're all looking at the same code. We've tried to use the Kubert client go package, and when you on a, a new brand new project. You do go get kubert.io uh, slash client go. You get an error, but this error was uh, corrected by Federico yesterday. Okay. Um, I would recommend trying to use the new API package and I'll, I'll link that right here. Uh, try adding that to your go mod. 
me find the we've repo. Tried. We've tried to use it, but it's quite complicated. And uh, O was the one in responsible of doing it, and he couldn't uh, build it or generate the client. As far yeah, as I'd like to understand what the complication was. And it might be something that we can document better, or it, it's hard for us to help uh, unless we understand the details here. Like, so I'll, I'll back up for a second. We, we understand some of the details that were difficult with client go. Uh, it, it was like this dependency hell that we would get in with all this. Um, client go would have certain dependencies and project has certain dependencies and trying to sort all that out was a nightmare. I believe with the QVERT uh, API project, we're meant to uh, resolve that uh, dependency problem. Um, and I, if you're hitting an issue now, I want to understand um, what's occurring. We'll handle it and he had to drop. So maybe okay. in two weeks on the next yeah. call. <laughs> Let's follow it up on the mailing list. I don't want this to block you all. If you're um, uh, completely you know, stuck trying to make your new repo, I'm not sure what the code is and everything, but you can't get the, um, you know, the API convert API working, but that's it's not great. Okay, we we find a workaround for a Kubert client go and we are not stuck at the moment. Thank you. Okay. Sounds like a good a good uh, follow-up for this. I mean an outcome for all of this will be to have like a small tutorial on how to do it. Right? Like a hello world Kubert or something like that. Yes, I agree. Actually, in the Qbert client Go, there's only one example. Maybe after we will study this package uh, in more depth, we can add one or two examples to it. Yeah, I think the thing with the API package is you're either expected to use client gen to generate your own clients, or if you're using, I don't know if your project is using the um, controller runtime library. And if it is, then you don't have to generate any clients and you can um, kind of use those types directly. You just have and, to add to scheme. And the, the point of the generation client or the generation of the client is to help with that dependency issue. So it uses whatever the natural dependencies that the project already has uh, rather than with client goes uh, Qvert, we we had conflicting dependencies. I believe that was the, the main enhancement there. Honestly, it sounds like a really good topic um, later in the year for presenting at different um, cons and such. So I don't know if that gives anyone ideas they want to follow up on, but just throwing that out there. Um, Sounds like we're going to go ahead and continue that conversation um, elsewhere. So if we wanna jump into pull requests, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one. If, if a pull specific, ah, that's what I wanted. If, Brady, do you want to speak up on that one? Hi. Uh, so I made a few pull requests uh, for the user guide that haven't had much attention. So I just wanted to, to ping here for it. have all the attention that they need on them right now as far as being assigned and such, or is there someone we can add that can take more action on them? So maybe so. I, and this isn't it. This is like a really small one. The other one um, is fixing 
uh, the edit feed or the edit link on on the documentation. That's the same one. Dave, I posted the same one. I'm sorry. If you go to the pull request, you'll see it. Yeah. Yeah, the fix uh, link checker. I believe that was approved like. 10 minutes ago or something. Um, this is fixing all the links, all the dead links on the user guide, as well as um, I, I made a, a proud job that runs the check links job so that any pull request that should get executed on UDocs. Yeah, I think that's it. If anybody can take a look. Thank you. Yeah, I added that as well. That can be closed uh, with the proud job I added. On the agenda, um, and I didn't hear any follow up conversation on those PRs. Hopefully, we can get attention to them. And otherwise, looks like we've made it through today's agenda. Thank you all for your participation. And thank you for being patient with my mic troubles today. That said, have a great week. Looking forward to Cooper Summit next week. Remember that will be taking place instead of the community meeting. And we'll see you back here in two weeks.